Well, hey guys, you haven't uh, seen me in a while. I haven't seen seen you guys in a while. It's it's good to see you guys again. Uh, today uh, we haven't vlogged in a minute. I don't think since SEMA is maybe the last time we vlogged, and that was in November, and it is now February. Nope, January thirtieth. So it's been a while since we've, there's a 30th in January, right? My clock. It's January 30th. So we haven't vlogged uh, in a while. I've given you an update about the legacy in a while just because I've been super busy with getting edits done, traveling around. The shops needed some time to go over the build and look at some stuff on the legacy. But today is a huge day. I've said that in a ton of vlogs, but this is probably one of the monumental peak days of the legacy build. The car's getting dyno today. The last time the legacy was on a dyno, it put out maybe, uh, I want to say like 265 horsepower. And that was with like the Grim Speed Stage 3 power package. Um, Bolt-ons pretty much that are easy work that anybody could really do or any Cody can do. And then uh, we made some cool power. It was just a little bit more than stock. 50 more than stock I think is what we gained. And it was fun. We've done a little bit since then, as you guys can see in the vlogs. And I think we're going to gain a little bit more than 50 horsepower today over stock. I got it. But first of all, we got to stop back at DID and pick up my front seats because we forgot the seat belts over there. And if we're going to drive the car at all, I want to have... We're going to grab those and then head on back down to Area 1320, which is a nice, like, from there, about a two and a half hour drive, maybe a little bit more. So we're going to do that on this nice January morning. But the car's getting dyno today. I'm really excited. I don't know. I don't know what to think. What do you guys think the power number is going to be? Before you skip ahead in the video, before you guys go ahead and already know what's going to happen, before you read the thumbnail probably and the title, put in the comments down below how much horsepower you think the legacy is going to make after watching all the vlogs and seeing all the amazing product that we put inside the car. Uh, in let me know what you guys think. Just wrapped a DID. Going to go grab the seats and then just uh, throw them in the van. I'm not going to I'm not gonna film all that. A little bit of, a little bit of dust later. And we got the old legacy seats in here that we didn't use because we got the awesome Recaro seats in the car now. The Sportster GT, I believe. Sorry if I'm forgetting Recaro. Um, pretty much we just need the seatbelts off those, the seatbelt buckles. We were driving around in Vegas at SEMA and we are like, oh, we don't have any seatbelts. So we need the seatbelt buckles off those and then I'll put those in storage or sell them um, or something. But now off to Area 13. Something feels off. I gotta take care of something real quick. Hey, morning. Can I please get a large, hot French vanilla swirl uh, with just cream? Okay. <sighs> Much better. What a good sponsor. Duncan is such a good... Don Duncan, thank you so much for sponsoring all of... Well, two and a half hours later and about two and a half months later, we back, baby! We're back! Damn, I think the last time I was here was when the car was getting loaded up on the trailer here to go to SEMA after we had that mad dash to finish it. Oh, good times, Area 1320. We got a uh, few goodies for bringing Ryan. We have the old uh, trunk light uh, here for the uh, license plate. I have some parts from Yellow Speed and also a cool license plate that I want to show you guys uh, from a guy named Phil up in uh, Ontario, in uh, Canada, I believe. Or Ottawa? Yeah, Ottawa. That word. Let's go inside, say hello to the guys, and then uh, catch back up with you guys. We're back here finally a few months later. Time traveled. We're here at Area 1320. Oh, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Back at Area. Ryan, are these shirts available online, by the way? Sorry? Are these shirts available online? The ones that are like all high pipe paper weight ish? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, these shirts. We're at Area 1320 back here in uh, Pennsylvania. And as you guys can see behind us, the legacy is on the dyno. And now I know a lot of you guys were curious about curious about what the legacy put down and emails again a bunch of questions but we hadn't had a chance to dyno it quite yet so we're back here today at area 1320 once again and we're going to put uh put the legacy to the test uh ryan you said first on pump gas and then we're going to try it on e thanks to cobb's flex fuel kit yep. shout out cobb big day big stuff happening um ryan how long do you think till it blows up he doesn't want me to say that. He doesn't want me to say that. <laughs> now, if you guys remember the legacy, if you need a little fresh, fresh little update, we got all our uh, awesome paint job, Raspberry from Curls Customs, House of Colors. We have our Circuit Demon tail lights here. We'll take a quick look at all the sponsors we got in the back. In case you guys forgot, these are a bunch of the guys that made this build possible. That Serious Innovations trunk setup. Everything's a little torn, uh, torn apart right now because we're still making a bunch of changes to the car and different modifications at the moment. So don't pay attention to things behind the curtain um, but you guys can see we have our did interior we have all the carbon fiber trim and uh, we have all our sponsors over here our other sponsors we have our rotiform wheels over here with our big brake kit from yellow speed racing we have our ryan from area 1320 and we have all of our fun good, bits <laughs> we have all of our fun bits uh in the engine bay there especially that nice garrett turbo up there 
AMS intake manifold, the vibrant titanium, and a bunch of other good stuff. And uh, Dietchberg's fueling everything because, uh, well, we kind of need that. A little chase base bits, CSF rad. Oh, a lot of you guys were asking. We're actually running the CSF ultimate half rad. That's the half rad we're running. Running. That's the half rad we're running in the legacy. Uh, link CSF's website down below if you're interested. Uh, in that, that's how we're able to run that forward, uh, forward facing turbo in there and have enough space. Ryan, what are your slight expectations and or hopes of what's going to happen today other than kapow? 480 on pump, uh, 6 plus on the E. It scares me. So I don't know how many uh, YouTubers out there have uh, vlogged their dino day uh, on a red, but uh, we're going to do that. We're going to use the uh, the Gemini here. Uh, I don't trust this top handle. I don't know why I'm doing that so much. Hold on. We're gonna be uh, filming uh, the dyno as well on the red. Like we have a bunch of the of the other updates uh, with the legacy here at Area 1320. Um, so expect a nice little little 5K dyno pull. But uh, I'll also vlog at the at the same time. Oh yeah! If you guys notice, the back of the legacy is a little naked. Uh, there should be a, a plate. Uh, there, but there's not but we solved that problem with our friend Phil over in uh, Ottawa, Canada somewhere up in the, the top hat of America um, And he gave us well, he didn't give us I purchased from him uh, a cool license plate that I want to open up for you guys I'll put their Instagram on the screen here if you guys are interested in getting something like this done for yourself uh, He'll make you a custom plate like he did me uh, and they could also do the same so check out his Instagram I'll put it here on the screen, um, but shout out to Phil. I'm gonna open this up real quick mm, Canadian dish paper Maple syrup prices lower than ever. Okay. Oh, it would be hockey. Ooh. Got a little scratch instead of maple syrup. Ryan, look, we got a plate. It's got my name on it. It's heavy. Isn't that cool? It's Canada, Canada approved. Canada, Canada, eh? Yeah, it smells like maple syrup too, but uh, and it doesn't actually. But we got this bill plate made by Phil. We'll post Instagram here on the screen. This way we could always get, oh, wow, there you go. Phil built designs. Uh, if you guys want to check them out, get one made for yourself. Shout out to Phil. These actually came out. This came out really good. Really neat. I, I like, thoroughly like this. It's like thick. Like a beveled. It's, Ooh, a plate. it's nice. But it's like, you don't think that's thicker oh, than thick, a regular? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no, it's thick. Thick with two Otherwise, C's. it would just vibrate when you're trying to machine it. Because I don't have like a vanity plate. I never came up with a cool name for the car for a vanity plate. So this will work. Oh, it's not going to be Doo Doo Raz. They want Doo Doo Raz because the car looks like poopy raspberry. <laughs> I know you guys see the car dirty. Ignore the dirt. Their water here at Area 1320, where the area is, is really harsh. Um, so they don't want to clean down the car with the water here because we don't want to ruin our fresh paint. Um, so we'll clean it when we get the chance, but we're not really worried about that. More so, we are worried about making some power. Ooh, it's been a while since I've heard this thing start. I think the last time we heard it start was when we drove it onto the trailer at SEMA in Las Vegas. A few months later now, hearing it start up again. It doesn't get old. Now, if you guys remember from before SEMA, Ryan had made this exhaust right here uh, to get it done for SEMA time because we didn't really have time to figure out uh, how to get the Vibrant Titanium exhaust fit just right. But at some point, we will be getting the Vibrant uh, Titanium exhaust uh, put on those mufflers that you guys saw uh, at some point doing the full Vibrant Titanium underneath. But for right now, we're going to use Ryan's custom little bits. We'll figure that other stuff out later. Tree clips, Subaru tree clips. Should be okay. It's been a long time coming to finally get this car on the dyno and actually see what it's going to put down. Other than just looking amazing and fantastic and gorgeous like it does, it's time to actually put some real power down and I'm super excited to see what it's going to put down. Ryan's really aiming for 700. We don't need that much horsepower, Ryan, but it'd be cool. It'd be cool. So let's see. First, we're going to start on pump pump gas, probably like 93 or whatever they have out here, and then we're going to work up to 85 thanks to Cobb's Flex Fuel Kit. So shout out to Cobb for letting us run E85. Never had E85 in a car before. Bunch of firsts today. Nice taillights, Ryan. <laughs> Got the Circuit Demon taillights running. Remember we had the little custom dancey mode? Hell yeah, so cool. Ryan's, uh, Ryan's putting in his cheat codes right now for more horsepower. That we're going on right now is just on pump gas. He picked up the 85. We're gonna to to use that in a little bit. But right now we're just on pump gas. That first pool I think was around 348. I think it said I think it said 348. I don't want to bother him asking any questions until he's ready. I just want to let him do his thing right now. So we're just gonna film it. We're gonna witness the power. We're gonna see what's going on. We're gonna see what it sounds like. It's probably gonna blow up the microphones like crazy. But we're gonna sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. And then we'll talk to Ryan in between pools or when he comes out of the car. Also, if you're seeing a lot of white smoke come out from some of these pools, might have been a little bit of oil spillage that. <laughs> That we need to burn off, so don't be alarmed. <laughs> don't don't worry about it. It's fine. Pull number two. It's a little loud, but okay. That's so much louder than I thought it'd be. 
at full throttle. And this is only the beginning. I'm zooming in. I don't want to. I don't want to get up all, hit, all up in his grill while he's doing his tuning, tuning a jigging, whatever you want to call it. Look at those curves, graphs, and bars. Look at that graph. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> oh. Yep, that's uh that's my legacy. That's pretty cool. That's pretty <laughs> fuck, that's cool. I don't know what to say. Some more bars and graphs and things. Look, this time we got red arrows and, and blue ones going up and stuff. Look, that one goes off the graph. Ryan, what's uh what's it looking like so far? Good, good, yes. good's an answer. So what were you just telling me? Uh, very soft tune right now. Uh, we'll clear 400 on pump, no problem. 450, 475. Nice. Uh, I'm used to being soft, so that's good. It's nice. I'm glad. <laughs> uh, if the car will let us, it'll do 700 on heat. That's scary. We'll see. <laughs> oh God. Oh, look at you! That's his 400! That's his 401! <laughs> That's cool. We done diddly broke 400 in the Legacy. Well, that was easy. That was on 19 pounds. <laughs> that was on 19 pounds of boost. Uh, and what he was just telling me right now is that he just needs to mess with the AFRs a little bit. Because uh, at some point it's got this uh, one dip in the graph. I'll see if I can get him on screen at some point. Probably won't. Uh, there's a little bit of dip in the AFR, so he needs to smooth that out a little bit. Uh, because then at that point the torque and the horsepower are also dipping down with it. I don't know anything. I'm just explaining what he was telling me. I'm trying to learn too. But uh, feel free to roast me in the comments. But he has to smooth out the AFRs and then he can continue. And the horsepower is just going up and up. And he's ho hoping, he's thinking we could probably get in between four and 400 on pump alone. And then we go to the fun stuff. Oh, look at her from back here. You guys can't really see it, but look at her from back here. Oh yeah. Look at it from back. Oh, some, oh, oh. I didn't film that last poll I did it on Instagram. And uh, between the last pull and that pull, uh, um, Ryan pulled another 40 horsepower out of his ass. And it just hit 448. Between that other pull, we just gained 47 horsepower. Awesome Detroit's fueling. Awesome IAG. Magnum block. Ugh, that Garrett turbo is probably spooling up in front like crazy. I'll get a front clip for you guys. Hold on, we gotta focus on Ryan's hands. We gotta focus. What was that? <laughs> if you guys couldn't tell what Ryan was just doing, he just handed to us 175 horsepower on pump. I think he's getting a little bit. Uh, I think he's getting a little bit happy. A little bit of horsepower happy now. This thing is making, making power so easily, and look how good it looks at the same damn time. This is neat. This is this is a fun time. Four seventy nine, four hundred and seventy nine horsepower already on pump alone. 
It's about 480, I'd say. We can round that up. We can round that up. Uh, just smoothing it out. Yeah. Okay. You know, just smoothing it out to a smooth, almost 500 horsepower and pump gas. Just, just smoothing it out. This is unreal. What's on? What's unreal, Ryan? The fact that we just did how many back-to-back -back pulls and <laughs> I like, like, hold your downpipe <laughs> without burning. His hand off? is literally on the Viber titanium downpipe that he welded oh. up. So Ryan's just checking over everything, making, making sure everything still looks good, make sure everything's still functioning, nothing came unplugged or nothing's uh, gone awry in the bay. And so far, it is good. That's so far, so good. He said, and just work out this table a little bit better, uh, and then we'll move on to 85. But right now, he's just having fun, making sure everything looks exactly how he wants it on, uh, on pump gas, making sure everything runs exactly how it should before we swap over and have some more fun. I missed it. I was filming on my cell phone uh, so I could put the cell phone video up. But I think the legacy just got its first little baby flame. Just a little, just a little, little baby flame out the back on pump gas. That was cool. I kept telling myself after seeing that I'm never gonna do this again. There's way too much money. It's stupid. It's so much time. But like just seeing this car dynoed for the first time, and I haven't even seen it on the road or shot it for the first time. I'm more to get excited and like bubbly again. To like I want more of this. And this this is basically just starting up again. The show season hasn't even started. This car hasn't seen a single show. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> that puppy right there says 502 horsepower on pump gas. Why'd you stand your legacy? It's never gonna make any horsepower. Okay, bucko. This Stancy Pants legacy just hit 502.1 horsepower. What? Oh man, this is sick. They're working out. Uh, they're working on everything right now, all the kinks. In the meantime, guys, make sure... Oh, I'm sitting right probably in the fan. Make sure you guys are following Area 1320. I'll put their Instagram here on the screen. They put in so much work with this build, with this car. They put so much time and effort. During before semen, they shut down their whole shop just to work on this one car, and now they're working on it to really make it what it truly is meant to be, and that is a full road monster plus show goer because it's so freaking gorgeous with everything on it. Uh, they're really completing the package with this dyno session. So make sure you guys go follow them, Area 1320. Show them some love. And obviously, if you need some super work done, uh, they're out here in Pennsylvania. Um, out in uh, Nazareth, I believe. So, go show them some love, guys, please. Hey, we're creeping up there, 505 now. He's probably just now ironing out all the little kinks within his map, uh, when he was talking about trying to get the AFRs just right. So he's probably settling with 500, which is good. More than enough. Ryan's proud of his curves. <laughs> so Ryan's settling right now at 505 for pump gas. He loves his table tension and flat. Uh, and his next words to me were, Chris, I'm giving you the fuckboy tune. So bring on the fuckboy tune.
just having fun. Well, uh, I think that'll draw a little bit of attention. The guy's next task they're going to tackle is now swapping out the fuel, the pump gas that we had in there, the 93, uh, what we have over here on the East Coast for 85, some e-blend uh, fuel, thanks to Cobb's Flex Fuel uh, sensor kit that we have in the car. If you guys are interested in one for your legacy, they also sell those now, so you guys can check out Cobb's website. We'll link everything pretty much down in the video description, all the sponsors' websites. You guys can go down there, and if you want any parts that you guys see me have on this car, you guys can have on your own car. Just go into the description, all the sponsors will be down below. But now, the fun's gonna start. But first we have to drain the fuel. Out with all our pump gas, and now she empty, and ready for some corn. You ready for some corn? I'm zooming out on you, you're walking away. Yeah. Oh yeah, let's get some corn in this. Cobbed, canned, all the good stuff. Oh, cobbed, oh, that's a stupid joke. Ryan, are those full of pee? Ooh, you got a glass? E85 makes me lay happy. Ryan, does that mean you support? Interesting. Very interesting. <laughs> See the screen. I gotta get down and see what he's talking about. Three horsepower off from 600. <laughs> no, is that what it was? Yeah. <laughs> I'll try to figure out what that face was. <laughs> so that face Ryan just made on that last couple is because we are three horsepower. I think they said. Let's see. Hold on. Yeah, three horsepower shy of 600 horsepower. The last pull on E85 was 597 horsepower. That's 97, 6, 95 horsepower more off E85 on the second pull alone. On Ryan's second pull on E85. I started at 502 on pump gas, and now in E85 on this third pull, we're up 101. <laughs> Just to think about that, we're up 101 more first purse. Fuck. Twenty-one. 
climbing up from the 600. Also, look at those rotiform wheels roll. I haven't seen these roll in person yet. It looks cool. Oh, come on. Just stop like that. just saw on the red was 643 horsepower on E85 on like our fifth or seventh pull I want to say I think we're good there but he's pushing for maybe a little bit more I know they really want to see seven but I'm cool with six Six forty-eight on the last pull. Six forty-eight. All right, let's see if this is six fifty. Let's see if this pull hits that six fifty number. I feel like that's what he's going for. And we got 650. Oh, baby. What are we looking like? This <laughs> 657. 657. 95% duty cycle, so Ryan, what are we at that you're calling it? And what do people say? Would it make? And here we are, sitting with 657 horsepower out of our 2005 Super Legacy GT wagon, tuned obviously and built by the guys over here at Area 1320 with all the amazing sponsors that we talked to you guys about. We're sitting here on E85 with 657 horsepower. Obviously, it's a big thanks to the IG Block uh, and the Garrett Turbo up front doing a bunch in the Beachworks fueling system, getting it all throughout the car that it need where everything needs to be and a ton of other people obviously of course AMS we can go on talking about people for days but definitely shout out to all the huge sponsors that made 657 horsepower on the 85 possible and 500 horsepower possible on uh on pump gas cheers great job 657 horsepower out of a stance wagon Whoo! all right so that's it we're all packed up we're ready to go back home uh, the Legacy is going to stay here. It has a little bit of sitting here to do a little bit more work to get done. The guys are not fully finished with what they want to get done. So it's going to be here for a little while longer. And then we'll probably take it back uh, in a few weeks to do some fun stuff with it. Um, and then uh, at some point it's going to come back here because we have a bunch of other fun plans that we want to do for the car. Um, there's other things we want to button up and make sure it's fully ready for show season. And eventual road trip at some point this year. I think in October I want to do a road trip with this car across country. Um, so for that we would need like AC and a bunch of other stuff that we got to put back in at some point. Um, but the essentials are pretty much here. The car is pretty much where it needs to be for the time being. Uh, and oh, yeah, fuck, that's right. It makes 657 horsepower uh, with negative five degrees of camber uh, as well. So uh, pretty sick. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this dyno video. Hopefully you guys check out Area 1320. And obviously show love to all the sponsors that helped make the build get to where it is right now possible. Um, but we officially pretty much have a built show slash street car at this point. Um, full interior. Full paint job, full aesthetics all around, uh, and also a full motor build. So shout out to Area 1320. Make sure you guys are following me if you're not already. Uh, and also, did I mention it shoots a little bit of flames and it's 657 horsepower in the 85? Uh, if I didn't, it does. But <laughs> that's awesome. Uh, I will see you all in the next one. Peace. Hey, it's Chris from the past or future past or past. Anyway, this is after the dino day. Uh, and a day after the dino day, uh, Ryan sent me this video in the morning.
That video is him opening up the extra set of injectors that Dietrich sent us, uh, 2200 uh, injectors opposed to our 1550s I think we had prior to. Um, and I'm like, what are you opening that for? And then later in the day, he sends me this screenshot right here. That's a screenshot of the Legacy now being at 683.2 horsepower. Uh, he must have put in the bigger injectors uh, and pumped out a little bit more horsepower. We can't really go any farther. He wants 700 so bad, but we can't really go much farther because that's pretty much where our turbo uh, max is at, which is perfectly and more than enough fine. This now gives me a huge learning curve to now learn how to redrive that car. It's going to take a while, but it's going to be fun to relearn and uh, figure out how to safely handle all the horsepower. But I just want to update you guys that the car is not at 657, but now 683.2 horsepower. Crazy. All right. I'll see you guys later. Peace.